This multifaceted creature is sometimes depicted as a debonair predator surrounded by dark allure while other times he is a horrifying shriveled supernatural being that lives off human blood. Included in folklore of pretty much every culture in the world, the legends of vampirism have captured the minds and imagination of countless, none more so than the terrifying Dracula himself. Bram Stoker's creation is described as bloodthirsty and his book the most blood-curdling novel of the century. It is still far from being scarier than the ruthless stories of its historical inspiration, Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler, Vlad III, Dracula or Romanian Vlad III Draculi, Vlad III or Romanian Vlad Shepes was born in 1431, Sigishwara, Transylvania, which is the modern-day Romania. The young Vlad spent his life in the Saxon town of Sigishwara until he was 11 with his father taking governance of the Wallachian Voivodian. At this time, Vlad Dracul II was invited to the court of Ottoman Sultan Murad II in the guise of a diplomatic meeting. Vlad II brought along two of his sons along on the journey with him, hoping that the experience would be educational for them. The three were imprisoned instead. Even when their father was released later, Vlad III and his younger brother, Radu, were still held as hostages to secure the elder Dracul's loyalty to the Ottoman Empire. Even when their father was released later, Vlad III and his younger brother, Radu, were still held as hostages to secure the elder Dracul's loyalty to the Ottoman Empire. Their time under captivity was spent learning science, philosophy, arts and the skills to one day become warriors who will never rebel against the Ottomans. Vlad III would go on to break into Wallachia to regain the throne after his father was deposed by the boyars and killed and his older brother Mircea tortured and buried alive just a few months later. In this period of unrest in Wallachia, the Ottoman Sultan, who now supported Radu to wear the crown, sent his army to fight alongside the younger Dracul against Vlad III. After eight years of strife, Vlad became the Wallachian Voivodid in 1456 and it was in this era when he committed atrocities against foreign and domestic enemies which inspired his cognomen Vlad Shepes. Impaling is a form of torture where a wood or metal pole that was not sharp to avoid damaging internal organs is inserted through the body and then raised vertically. Suffering is prolonged and it takes from hours to days for the impaled to die. In his conflict with the Transylvanian Saxons and his illegitimate half-brother, Vlad plundered the Saxon villages, captured its people and took them to Wallachia where they were impaled. Stories of his cruel acts starting circulating in his lifetime. Whether it is his penchant to kill his enemies by impalement or accusations of cannibalism. One such account was when he held a banquet at the palace in Terigovishtir where he ordered the impaling of 500 boyars or it could be only 50. In another story written by Meister Zinger Michael Behind, Vlad impaled two monks and their donkeys to assist them to get to heaven. In a record of Vlad's tyrannical justice by Antonio Bonfini, he recalled Turkish messengers who had their turbans nailed to their heads with three spikes just because they refused to take them off in accordance with their ancient customs. German reports depicted Vlad dining at a table surrounded by dead or dying people on poles and mothers and their babies being impaled together. In total, it was estimated that Vlad had killed 80,000 people in his lifetime, out of which 20,000 were impaled and left on display outside the city of Terugovishti. Vlad was killed and beheaded in 1476 in a battle with the Ottomans and his head was delivered as a trophy to Mehmet II in Constantinople. In a theory of Bram Stoker's inspiration for Dracula, some scholars speculate that a conversation with historian Hermann Bamberger gave the well-known author information on Vlad's colorful life. 
Stoker was also armed with knowledge of Transylvanian superstitions and tales of the notorious warlord from William Wilkinson's book, an account of the principalities of Wallachia and Moldavia with various political observations relating to them. Another possible link to the titular character was when Vlad's father was inducted into the knightly order, the Order of the Dragon. It earned his family the new surname Dracul, which means dragon in Old Romania. And so Vlad is son of Dracul or Dracula in Romania and devil in modern Romania. The first known narrative that connected Dracula with vampirism was published in 1897 under the name Dracula, written by Bram Stoker, and the first link between Vlad III and the iconic father of vampires was made and popularized in the book In Search of Dracula, written by historians Radu, Florescu, and Raymond T. McNally. In another context, Dracula is known to be from Transylvania and resided in Brand Castle, but Vlad III's only connection to the place is a home in Sigishwara, Transylvania that was owned by his father and there is no historical evidence to suggest that Vlad Shepes ever stepped foot in Brand Castle. Whether Stoker borrowed the name and bits of information from miscellaneous sources or there was absolutely no connection between the two for the author to take inspiration from, we can all agree that the vampire phenomenon has taken the world by storm and it all started with Bram Stoker's Dracula. Vlad III was known for all of the stories about him, but he is viewed as a national hero as well, a warrior, a defender of Christianity and a brilliant politician who is to say who he truly was. Impaler, inspiration or hero, but one thing stands true, he was one of the cruelest monarchs to ever rule Romania.